Rhonda. I'm talking about Sheila. Isolated. I mean, she lost her son. Nobody would tell her what happened. She never got a chance to say goodbye. This has been awful for her. I did see her at the hospital a few times. She was devastated. Hello, and welcome to my channel. This is my Let's Talk Soap series, where I recap stories from the bold and the beautiful. It's crazy how a tragedy like this can affect people and affect their relationships with other people. Okay, no, maybe let's not. No, no, no I, I'm, I'm not talking about that. So if you're a fan, you're going to want to smash that subscribe button. Tune in every day for my new videos. All right, before I say anything, I just I want to make sure that we're okay. We are. Okay, I'm sorry, because I, I didn't mean to badmouth Liam or Ridge. All right, maybe Ridge, just a little bit. But I... Let's get started. Bill Tell and Steffi, Taylor, and Riz. I, I didn't think this was ever going to happen. So Taylor called Sheila and invited her over to Steffi's. But Sheila thinks this could be it. She, this might actually be her chance to be welcomed into her grandson's life. She's not the enemy here. I'm not your enemy. I'm suffering too. Taylor says, <sighs> Sheila, why are you still denying it? Steffi remembers what happened now. I'm not your enemy. We know the truth. Steffi remembers. And Sheila says no, but that's not true. She doesn't remember. Her, her memory is hazy. <sighs> she hates it's me. She wants me to be punished. This is when Ridge jumps in and... What do you know about punishment? You don't get punished. If you were punished, you'd still be in prison. You wouldn't have made it back here. You wouldn't have met Finn. You wouldn't have shot my daughter and that poor, innocent boy. But you did. You took his life. And with that, destroyed your own. If she would have been kept in jail like the animal that she is, Riz says. And you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend every second of my day to make sure that you spend the rest of your life behind bars. This sets Sheila off and in a moment of weakness, she confesses to make sure that you spend the rest of your life behind bars like that nasty, filthy animal that you are. Yes, I did it! Yes, I did it! Shocking everybody in the room. Even Steffi's facial expression is like, shot oh my god, she just confirmed. It was an accident. I shot Finn. But, but it was an accident and it haunts me every minute of every day. Because obviously Steffi wasn't 100% sure because the look on her face says that. He wasn't supposed to be there. I, I hope you die behind bars. She would never in a million years would hurt her own son. I would never hurt him. He was my own flesh. And he was my last opportunity to finally have a loving relationship with one of my children. Sheila tells Steffi that she needs to remember one thing. You want to play this up, me, but you know what really happened? I didn't chase after you. You came after me. But the and only me. reason Finn is dead is Any because kind of, of Steffi's selfish attitude. My relationship but no, Steffi, with you were my too son. selfish for that. Telling me how you were going to come between my son and me. And I never get to see my grandson. And he's just going to hate you for the rest of his She yells at Steffi and tells her Finn Finn's blood be is on her hand. This is on you. Stay tuned. Finn's blood is on Thanks for watching. Bye. Steffi, you're